right, guys, it's finally time. Civic RV6 performance downpipe. And I'm gonna install it. Literally, I'm super, super excited. I literally already got a head start. I got the car jacked up already. And yeah, like, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how it goes. And one thing I would like to say is I know a lot of you are probably questioning why mine is black and not chrome like how the old one is or how most people get them and that is because i am not like most people i did not want a chrome downpipe i actually wanted the black one i think the black one looks really really nice especially with the nice rv6 performance badge right there and black on black in the engine bay guys you're not even going to notice that it's in there so that's about to look great and with that being said yeah, let's get this downpipe install started. So first thing you want to do is obviously open your engine bay. Mine is open. It is a little hot though because I actually did just come back from AutoZone. I had to get an O2 sensor socket since I don't have one. And the next thing you want to do is you simply just unplug these O2 sensors right here. These are pretty easy to unplug. You just pull this, this tab right here pull it in like this and you slide it out so you pull it, let me plug it back in for you see this tab you pull it in pull it and same thing with this one just push the button in and plop it out that simple and this one's held on by a bracket that you're gonna have to take off this one right here let me just unbolt everything and so I removed my first oxygen sensor. This one was the one that goes right here on top. It's simple. You just put your O2 sensor around like that. Make sure it's tight in, and then you take it off and unscrew it. Nothing crazy. And now we continue to unbolt all of these. We got one, two, three. And this is just the heat shield. This has nothing to do with the downpipe yet. So you just, I already unloosened them. So we just continue taking them off. I should probably put those down. They are hard. I keep forgetting that I just ran the car. The heat shield is probably going to want to fall right off. So, just be prepared to take it off. I'm probably going to lift it with, like, a spoon or something. Because it, it is hot as fuck, as you don't understand. So... Alright. So, those are my three heat shield bolts and now you can simply just lift it up and take it out but i can't do it because mine is hot i literally just came back from autos on so my engine bay is super super hot oh like me i have a microfiber towel right here so we'll just use this microfiber towel boom cushion it up and up and out just like that what was on there like that just up and out you guys probably don't need the microfiber towel because yours won't be hot but mine was hot so he shield out and now we have four bolts one two three four and what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen all of them but we're gonna leave the two top ones and get rid of the two bottom ones so that we can start working on the bottom so let me start unloosening these pretty sure they're also 12 millimeters guys yep 12 mil 12 millimeters i'll be back when i unloosen them because it's hard to do with one hand Quick word of advice guys, since I'm under here, um, the top bolts are all 12 millimeters at the top, but these are actually all 14 millimeters. This one right here, this one right here, there's one up there, and then there's that bracket one up there. Um, best way to get it is from the bottom, so yeah, let me just unloosen those bolts and I'll get back to you when I can. I would show you, but it's very, very uncomfortable holding the GoPro and being down here, so I'll come back to you when I'm done with that. Alright guys, so I finally took the bolts from the bottom out. They were giving me a pain and the ass because they were literally so rusted on so now we just finish this we take these off they fall it's okay they gave us new ones and i removed all the o2 sensors there was a bolt right here literally right here that was for the o2 sensor um it goes like this and you just took it off it's a 10 millimeter but now it's ready to this is still a little hot it literally just lifts up and give it a little shake
this is your old one. Honestly, pretty heavy. I won't lie. I'm really fat. Compared to the new one. This one's very slim and nice with the badge. And this one, shit. Um, we won't be needing this, obviously, because. Sorry, sorry. Oh man, I already scratched it up. We will be needing this, we won't be needing this, so you can probably throw that out unless you want to keep it or sell it, I don't know. But we do need our O2 sensor, so don't forget to take that out. Cause my two sensor tool is stuck. to put it on so what you want to do before you put on anything guys and after you take everything out is remove your old gasket from up top because as you can see mine is already old and fucked up um and if you guys wouldn't mind what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clean over here with some water and a rag real quick just to get it nice and clean so that our new gasket can sit nice and flush i'll show you they send us a brand new gasket oh yeah by honda that i haven't taken out it's still in this bag but they send us a lot of a lot of goodies guys with that RB6 performance um, license plate frame. Uh, I'm probably gonna put on, but not right now after my downpipe. And they even send me free Airheads candy, um, some Tootsie Rolls that are in here somewhere. And they sent me a free magnet, which I was gonna buy one on Amazon for twenty dollars because I'm always dropping things in the engine bay or on the floor, and then I'm gonna need a magnet, you know, to pick them up. So I'm glad they sent me this. Because it's gonna come in clutch. I know my girl knows I need that too, so. But yeah, this is the gasket. OEM Honda gasket. I'm not sure it's from, if it's from a Type R or something, but there's a part number if you guys want it. So, yeah, I'm gonna just give that a quick clean, put on the new gasket, and then we can install it back. is clean you're ready to install so now you just grab your downpipe so this is obviously for your bracket so don't, you don't want to move that let me put that up there and don't please make sure that you don't forget your bracket your what's it function your bracket your gasket because That'll be very bad. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of codes and leaks and yeah, not good if you forget your gasket. So open it without trying to bend it. And boom, that is so nice guys, look at that. Nice and shiny compared to our old one. Match it up. I don't, I don't think it has a side, so just put it however, guys. And then just double check if the other side is the same. Yeah, the other side is exactly the same, so it doesn't matter how you put it. Just make sure that the gasket gets on there, so sure it's nice and secure. And flush, obviously, when you tighten on the downpipe, it's going to be tender. So set it up. 
guys, it's gonna look so nice. I already love the way the black looks in the engine bay because the engine bay always needs some color. So, ah, uh, there you go. Seems like it's at a little bit of an angle. So what we're gonna do is, there's two bolts down here. I think I'm gonna start tightening those down just so that we can get them out of the way. I forgot to this. I'm bag of bolts. Even, I keep saying bolts guys and I think they're not even bolts I meant nuts but they send us a whole new bag of nuts right here you just boom or maybe these are too big maybe these are too big I don't know what these are for then oh I see I see they sent us things so we can make our make our own like nuts fit so I don't know what the point of these were if that was the case I would have just used the OEM ones, which I'm glad I didn't strip any and that they still work. So these are useless to me, and we're just gonna go and use the OEM nuts, which are all scattered around the floor. So let me pick them up. Okay. You'll know which ones they are because the ones at the top aren't as rusted as the ones on the bottom. These are always the ones on the bottom that you can tell were a struggle to take off. I stripped them a little bit, but they still came off just fine. So these are 12 millimeters. These, you see that? Fit. Oh, okay, they fell. Okay, but they should fit just fine right here. You see that? Boom. So just make sure to put them down here on the bottom, just because that that little angle thing is really throwing me off. And we're trying to make sure that we get a flush fit, man. So, oh, these are bolts. I was we just go and use these again, but I don't. Where'd the other one go? I probably dropped this somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised. Somewhere on the floor. So. Okay, just try to make sure it's on there, guys. But make sure it's not crooked. Don't worry about tightening it down yet because you still got to work with the bottom. So. want to make sure that these are going in straight and not at an angle guys because if you're cross threading them you're gonna fuck yourself up these are at a little bit of an angle so it is a little bit difficult but luckily the engine may cool down so i can fit my hand in here comfortably now See that? They're not tight, but they're on there and now I can finally move on to the bottom. I'm gonna make sure that they're tight but not crazy tight because that really was a pain guys. I did not want to deal with those rust bolts. Like I'm even late to a date that I have with my girl and her cousin, literally. So Wow. I did it, babe. So guys I actually figured out what those things in the bag were for these studs they actually go in place of the bottom exhaust pieces so i really don't know how i'm gonna show you but oh i guess i'll show you over here these are a part of your oem catalytic converter and downpipe these you have to put on and screw in to your new one if that makes sense just so you can get it to fit right so that's what i'm doing right now it took me a little bit of a minute to figure it out because it was a little complicated, so let me just finish that and I'll come back to you when I'm done. Alright guys, so it is in. Everything is nice and tight. As you can see, O2 sensors have been plugged back in. This has been bolted back on and plugged back in. I'm moving everything right now. Um, these are the bolts for the old heat shield, which you can actually keep or throw away or give away. There's no space for it actually on, on here since you don't have a catalytic converter anymore, so you can get rid of that should look like that nice and clean and now i can finally put everything away bring the car down and give you a nice first start and then i'm very very busy actually right now guys so i'm gonna do the review at night so yeah let me just bring it down 
get the car started and go on about my day and I'll come back and see you later tonight. Great, let's go get it from the front. Like I said, I'm running late to something, so those are some sound clips for now. I'm gonna go and do whatever I gotta do, and I'll come back to you with first impressions and sound clips later tonight so i'll see you later all right guys so i'm finally done doing everything that i gotta do i drove the civic and i've actually already reviewed it but i've concluded that this video is just a little bit too long for my liking so instead of me making an install and a review all in one i'm actually going to be doing the review in a separate video because there is something that I do want to bring up just a little bit um, and it has to do with the VTEC so we're going to be talking a little bit about it and my thoughts so stay tuned for it I will be bringing that review out real real soon probably shortly after this video so yeah that's all I have for you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed those revs and this install um, hopefully I can get better installs I am trying to get better at them so yeah but yeah thank you thank you guys so much for watching and also thank you thank you guys so much for a thousand plus subscribers we actually just got monetized and if you've seen ads in the video that's our money that's what's actually going to get invested back into the civic and our 3g eclipse so like i said thank you thank you guys so much start subscribing if you're new to the channel like this video if you liked it or any of my other videos if you go and watch them and with that being said ochoa out